Okay, guys. So I've got something pretty special right here. This is a little project I've been working on the past few days. You can see it's the <laughs> ASMR. swan on the front and this elastic band so I got the idea to do this a while ago um, after working on my art journal and racket journal for a while um, both of them have some pages especially the art journal that I think make a lot of great sounds, um, and neither of them are dedicated to ASMR, and so I wanted to make something that was entirely dedicated to ASMR, and I came out with this. Um, it's <laughs> kind of a mess, <laughs> um, but it's... Uh, it's from the heart, <laughs> so that's that's something, and it does have some good sounds in it. It's not finished. Um, I need some more stuff to make good sounds with some foil and some other things that I'm planning on putting in. But yeah, so this is a pre-made. Um, book, and I covered the front and the back with magazine pages from National National Geographic. So I've got a swan. Uh, there's like a rainbow here that's on the spine, and then on the back, got this beautiful bird, and it says Indigo. Go. And this is coming off a little bit, or it's a little off the edge, but whatever. And this is at an exclamation point, actually, because I didn't have <laughs> another eye, but. Um. So, there's some string here, and that's from where I sewed the elastic onto the cover of this. Was, it took a while getting the needle through the, the cover, the cardboardy cover of the book, but it worked. So there's a lot of, um, you can't see it too well, but there's a lot of smudges and scratches and stuff on here. Because when I was making this, I used a lot of, uh, like, Mod Podge. <clears throat> and, um,. So it was like all over my fingers, and so I, as I was like touching it, it kind of got all over, so. Anyways. Let's uh, open this up. My laptop's over off to the side, in case you were wondering. It's a little tricky doing this with one hand, but okay. So this is how the front looks. These are embellishments that you would use, like, for scrapbooking. So, if we open it up, this is the inside cover. This is, um, like, a fake history of uh, a fantasy race. Um, I might cover that up with something. I probably will cover it up with something. And you can see inside some stuff, but there's plastic here that I attached on this side. And you can see through here. So here I've got, this is plastic bag, like just a grocery bag. 
because I really like the sounds that it makes. Stapled and glued down. Thinking of adding some more layers of that also. And then this is like a paint chip, but it's metal. So, mix different sounds, and we can reach through here now. these papers stick together a bit because I used so much glue. So this page has some fabric on it. Fabric and paint. And these two beads. This one is plastic and this one is glass. They don't really make sounds. I just put them on because I wanted to. This page has flower petals with tape over them. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but I wanted to use them. And then this stuff, I can't really see, but there's this interesting fabric type thing. And it's from a photo album. The kind you just stick the photo in the sleeves. That's also where this plastic thing came from. It was called like photo books or something. I don't know. But uh, they make good scratchy sounds. So. And then this page I had a lot of fun with. Um, it's got layered papers that have been crumpled and glued on and watercolorized and I don't know about you but I just like the sound of like this sort of this sound so many different paper sounds, and I really like them. Plus, it's fun to like run your hands over it. So then we come to this like treasure page. <laughs> um, we've got ribbon, <coughs> cardboard, like from a warmer, or uh, so you don't. Bring your hands on your coffee cup cardboard thingy. I don't know what you call that. But the pieces. I love ribbed things. You've got this part of like a necklace that I sewed onto the page. Different beads. Sparkly butterfly thing. Glass. Stones, a paper lotus, like origami, cardboard things, stickers, and then this is from a water bottle. So it's just really mishmashy. And um got this from Caribou Coffee. I've been keeping that for a long time because we don't have Caribou out here on the East Coast, so I figured I might as well put it in here. Makes generic cardboard scratchy sounds. And then I put a galaxy picture on here and then this netting fabric so there's scratchy sounds for this too Stones. 
the nails on my left hand are a little bit shorter than on my right hand. But I knew that I could hold my phone steadier with my right hand, so. More crumpled up magazine page. I just really love this sound. This is a chocolate bar wrapper that I cleaned off. Deliciously crinkly sounds. Something else on this page. We want to change that. Add some sort of color decoration. And then on this page, more crinkled paper. All these sparkly pinkish embellishments, because I don't really like pink or sparkles, so I just put them in this book. This thing. So you can go like this. <laughs> and I like that sound. And you can fold it this way or this way. Keep it like this. This is like from a sticker page. And then this is more fabric. These parts are really hard because there's a lot of glue, and then other parts are softer, like down here. So there's different sounds over the whole page. just has a picture of a bird on it. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. And then there's five more pages. Oh. This book left, so I'm going to do like foil on one page. I want to do something like folding out on one, maybe. If you have suggestions for something that makes a good sound that you'd like me to try and get in here, thinking maybe something fuzzy, if I can swing that. Um, so yeah. on. I should have cut it shorter, so I like tightened it up, but it's still not as tight as I'd like it to be. But I figure once I have more stuff in these pages, it'll be wider, and then, um, then it'll be tight enough, so. That is my ASMR book. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I'm actually thinking of giving this away when I'm finished with it, so there'll be more information and details about that in the future when I do finish it. Um, we'll see. Um, there's someone I'm thinking about giving it to, but I might just give it away to a random subscriber if you guys would be interested in receiving this very poorly constructed ASMR book. So. We'll see, we'll see. Anyways. 
this over and close it up one handed again so I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you again in the next video I love you guys